Hey, Michelle Getzinger here at Three Rivers Outdoor Company, and I want to introduce you to Chris and Christine. So we're here at the Three Rivers Outdoor Company. Um, it's new here to Regent Square. You guys have been here for about, what, two years? A year and a half? A year and a half? And uh, what gave you the idea to end up here in, in Regent Square? Regent Square came luckily from a friend that I whitewater kayak with and he lives about a street back and I've always loved Regent Square because of Frick Park. It met all of our requirements. We wanted to be next to like an asset like a park or a river close to a highway. We wanted our own parking and we really wanted a fire, a, a place for a fire pit. So when the, we saw the patio and that we could have campfires there. So it started kind of on a mountain bike ride. Yeah. You say, yeah, we were mountain biking, and I threw out an idea that I had years ago about having a used gear bus that would drive around and sell used gear. She had thrown an idea as well, and we just kind of both agreed that we wanted to run our own businesses, that there was a hole in the market for people that had unique outdoor gear that was different, not mass market that you can get everywhere, but also have the knowledge base right. to be able to help people. But the other big, huge thing that we really cared about was creating a hub where people that love the outdoors can meet other outdoors people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we opened a store because we wanted to be business owners, but it's about our passion. And it was also about telling the story that Pittsburgh really is a great place to live an outdoor life. And we wanted to help change that story and build that community because we realized a lot of people just didn't know where to go or how to do it. Um, and they needed other people. So the store is that place. We do a lot of events like trail running nights and campfire nights. Uh, a lot of that community kind of comes when you socialize afterwards and so we have a tap-in store and we do free beer after a lot of those events um, to kind of, I don't know, get the juices flowing and kind of invite people to socialize with one another. And, yeah. So one of the unique things about our store is that we carry a selection of locally crafted and handmade products that are nature or outdoor inspired. Um, so it's great for gifts for birthdays or holidays, um, but they're all pretty unique. So one of our best sellers has been um, this artwork. Um, and these are coasters, all hand painted. They're actually made, he uses coffee wow. um, to do some of the painting. He's a local artist named Craig Peterson. Um, he's from the Blairsville area. And it's just beautiful and unique pieces that you know will inspire people who love the outdoors. So back in the youth section here, one thing we've gotten lucky with is making relationships with outdoor sales representatives. So one of the things they do is drop off their samples. So not everything back here is used. So Camelback running vests, about a hundred pair of brand new smart wall socks. And since they're sales samples, they can't be sold for retail price, so you guys get the savings on it. But some of the other things that we do, rock climbing shoes, just tons and tons of them. One of the other big things that we do a lot of business with are backpacks. Everybody has an extra backpack sitting around, so that's the question, what do you do with it? And unfortunately, a lot of them just sit in basements and rot. So, People can bring them in, and we sell everything here on consignment. So we'll bring it in, we'll sell it for you. You get a large cut, we take a smaller cut. The circle of, circle of outdoor gear continues. So what's cool about the stand-up paddle boards is these are inflatable. So it fits in this bag that's on wheels. Oh, that's really cool. It all fits in here, folds up, rolls up, fits in here. You take a collapsible paddle, you can put it in the trunk of your little Prius or small sedan and head to the river. Wow, that's really cool. Um, Boston Globe actually just did an article and talked about our Allegheny Islands, which is 10 minutes from here mm -hmm. on the Allegheny River. And we often tell people to go there. It's a great little hidden gem with islands and coves and sandy beaches. Wow. And you're 10 minutes outside the city. city. Wow. But we rent them, I mean, and we have a rent to own program. Okay because it's an expensive item right. and it's often nice to be able to try before you buy and make a huge investment in a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard mm -hmm. or maybe you live in the city and you just don't have the space so it's a way to 
access and go do it without having to, you know. That's a great idea. So one of the really unique things about your background is you map the land. How does that work? Tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> um, so I think you might have read it on the website. I used to do aerial mapping. I went to school for aviation as a pilot and mapping GIS, it's called, Geographic Information Systems. And wow. Did somebody just show up in your high school one day and say, hey, this is a cool career path? Because who would have thought to ever go and do that? I used to skydive and jump out of airplanes, and that led me to want to be a pilot, and then that led me to get a degree in mapping, and the two fit together perfectly, and I traveled the world for like five years, working in the back of an airplane, kind of doing Google Earth, kind of the, the systems that collect all that data. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. So you don't do that anymore, though? I don't do that anymore. I still sell very high accurate GPS mm -hmm. to... DEP and DCNR and other organizations, Pittsburgh Sewer Water, anybody mapping typically anything underground, mm -hmm. our trail system. Yeah, yeah um, we hired a local friend. I mean, the first part of starting any business, I think most people go to a logo, and so probably almost two years before the store opened, we started looking for a logo. A friend, Phil Molenkoff, and Cultivate is the company. Um, Pittsburgh based and he worked with some Pittsburgh artists and um, Matt Braun is actually the designer of our logo but yeah we're we're in love with it it really spoke to us and Pittsburgh and um, this is the logo right so we've got the three rivers we've got our hills and we've got our forest and our, our greenery you can so you find it on hats line, right? yeah hats t-shirts Different types of water bottles, yes, they glow in the dark. Do they? That's you awesome. Yeah, those are fun. <laughs> but then also, yeah, camp enamel wear, so pint glasses, coffee cups, mm -hmm. camp mugs, a little bit of everything. Yep, very cool. So one of the big things that we wanted to do was to be able to get brands that aren't represented other places. So a brand like Rab, for instance, it's a company out of the UK. Okay. They make very, very technical stuff, but it's never been represented in the US. So because of it, we can offer really great, high-quality stuff. Mm -hmm. We're also the only dealer in Pennsylvania. Nice. <laughs> um, but other big things are our footwear selection. So again, brands that aren't necessarily represented. Mm -hmm. I often like to joke, people say, what's your favorite? And I say, I don't know, because I have all of them. <laughs> this shoe has been our best-selling shoe for the last two seasons. Wow. Um, again, you can't find it at many places. It's um, unique because it's designed for the water, mm -hmm. um, so it's got an especially sticky rubber and it's got drain holes. Oh, cool. So it's going to be quick drying and quick draining, but it also has a lot of style and function and it's comfortable just to wear around town. So again, one of the really cool, unique things that Chris and Christine bring to the table is their unique experience that they've had. Um, Chris was a guide in Colorado, so he knows how to work all this gear. He knows which gear is better than others. Um, and and basically any questions you might have outdoor-wise, he's going to be able to answer. Can you tell us a little bit about what you used to do in Colorado? Well, I often joke that she's our water expert, and I've basically guided everything that isn't, water. well, <laughs> liquid water. <laughs> so skiing, ice climbing, mountaineering, rock climbing, mountain biking, you name it, I guided it. That's awesome. So you're really getting years and years of experience here with them as well, and they'll be glad to talk you through anything that you want to buy. Um, same with Ruby, they have a whole huge dog section here. Um, and we all take our dogs everywhere. If anybody knows me, why it's usually with me. I left him at home today for courtesy reasons. But <laughs> <laughs> he was in here last week when, uh, when we were looking for stuff for him too. But I really wanted to thank you guys for your time and I can't wait for the rest of Pittsburgh to see you. Um, tell us where they can see you at um, on Friday nights. Sure. So every first Friday of the month, Okay. We, uh, it looks like a checkerboard, but we open it up and we get a big campfire going every first Friday of the month and we have s'mores. Anybody wants to come join us? Totally free. Totally we have a great free. time. 7 yeah. to 9 p.m. every first Friday. That's awesome. And I'm going to put all their information below. Um, like, subscribe, follow them, check them out. They really are a huge asset to this community here in Pittsburgh. And thanks for watching.